Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And here are three highlights to this week's video. Number one, I went on a mystery bus ride. Number two, we came back to Northampton. And number three, we smashed our 500 pound target. Well done, Mr. Warner. Without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Mr. Warner, He's over there. He's just making me a sausage sandwich. We've cooked a load of sausages. Mr. Warner's going to have those cold over the next couple of days in his packed lunch for work. It's been raining all morning, but the sun's just come out. I'm going to have this sausage sandwich and then we'll have a look at what we're going to do today. I'm going to challenge Mr. Warner to delve into the fridge and to come out with an ingredient and I'm gonna make something using that. Do you remember the program, Ready, Steady, Cook? Yeah, this is gonna be our own version. So the ingredients for our Ready, Steady, Cook, sweet chili sauce, some crunchy peanut marmite butter, some halloumi, some spring onions. I should have asked Mr. Warner, what are the rules for this competition? Can I buy a couple more ingredients to go with it? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I think I'll only need two or three things. I've already got an idea of what we're doing. Mr. Warner, tell me your exciting you? news. I think you bought these after watching um, Clarkson's Farm. I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not from there. No. But this is Lion's Mane, which is derived from mushroom, isn't it? It the is. Mushroom. Yeah. And apparently it's really good for you. So Mrs. Warner's been online and I'm going to be the donkey. It's a guinea pig. That's it. You're going to be the guinea pig. I feel like a donkey. I'm going to take them and see what happens. Mrs. Warner's assured me it's going to make me more sharp. So I was going to try them, but with all the issues with my blood pressure and all the new tablets I'm on, I thought, oh, I better not push it. So I've said to Glenn, you try it. Oh my goodness. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a lump. Are you going to take one every day? Are you going to report back to us? Yeah, I will do. I will do. Like an experiment. Take one capsule a day with food and water. Yeah, okay, let's do it. He's a bit of a whopper. I'm not sure I would have been able to take that. Okay, so the thing is, Mr. Warner, how are you feeling out of 10 today? Five. We're heading out. Gonna pick up a couple of things from the shop. Got a couple of parcels. Sold another thing on vintage. Yes, I did. Also, I've rummaged through the cupboards and got a couple of cans we're not gonna use. They're in date, so I'm gonna drop them into the food bank collection. Can I just say our cupboards getting they're getting there, they're getting emptier, which is what we're going for. Our veggies doing really well with all that rain. We've got more seeds coming up. We've got kale. Pak choy and some lettuce here. Good news, got the noodles and the peppers for dinner tonight. Dropped the two cans into the food bank basket. Bad news, no lockers available for my vintage parcel. We're gonna head to Morrison's. I've got a couple of lockers left there. It's looking very dark and foreboding out there mr warner i love coming to this morrison's because it just reminds me of coming to the zoo i love it the fact that morrison's and the zoo share the same entrance let's go find this locker in it goes <laughs> oh there we go parcel dropped off that's good we've decided to stop in morrison's cafe and get a coffee because the weather's a bit rubbish i've got the noodles i've got the peppers oh one ingredient missing two ingredients missing added some garlic paste and onion let's throw in some sweet chili sauce to balance the saltiness of the marmite and some garlic paste and add some hot water just to loosen that up Oh, you've got to love halloumi. There you go. We didn't win at bingo. We got close numerous times. There was a really nice crowd in this evening. Lots of families on holiday, which is always really good to see. So come on, let's get back and we'll see you in the morning. Hello and welcome to Sunday. Glenn's at work home alone. I get into all sorts of trouble when uh, Glenn's working. What have I done today? I've applied to go on a game show. Oh yes I have. I've just recorded the video that I had to send with my application. 
sent that off fingers crossed that's today's crazy thing the second crazy thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on a little adventure not sure where to i think i might get a bus and then just see where i can get to right come on let's go let's get into brixham and then let's just take the next bus that comes along see where it takes us oh i hope it's a double decker so i'm walking down into town my knees are being dicey so i'm having to take it slow my goodness i'm at the front of the double decker mm -hmm. i've just got on the bus going all the way to newton amber it to Newton Abbot. I mean everywhere's shut I knew it would be but to be honest it wasn't about exploring Newton Abbot it was all about the bus ride here so the bus was excellent not only did I get a bird's eye view we traveled through Paynton onto Torquay and then out to Newton Abbot it was just such a great ride I'm just strolling around having a look see if there's somewhere I can get a cold drink what I don't want to do is lose sight of where the bus stop was <laughs> Well, the timing of that bus was perfect. Mr Warner finishes work in about 20 minutes, so by the time I walked there, that would have worked out spot on. Oh, the seagulls are going mad. Well, I got some stuff from the shop for Mr Warner, but he's just said it's Father's Day. Let's get fish and chips. Oh my goodness, good morning. Good morning, I should say. By the way, by the way, good morning. That was Debbie on the phone. She's just said, would I like to go and see Pink with her next week? I was like, oh yes, I would. Oh, this is so exciting. Anyway, keep calm, keep calm. Think of me blood pressure. So, good morning. I'm all over it today. I got up early. I'm doing some learning and I've, I'll do it first thing in the morning. I'll tell you what that's about later but I've, I've done that I've done my hip exercises I've taken my blood pressure medication I've started the day right I'm working most of the day Glenn's gone to work as well but so I just wanted to pop in say hello and say today is going fabulous two bits of good news number one I've finished work number two the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day I'm just going to do some washing up bit of a tidy up and then I'm going to catch the bus down into town i'm gonna sit and listen to my audiobook i might take a bit of crochet actually might take a bit of crochet listen to my audiobook overlooking brixham that doesn't sound a bad way to spend the afternoon does it yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna go enjoy the sunshine listen to a book do a bit of crochet i just thought a third good thing as well my knee so much better mm, so much better I was in a lot of pain last night and I, I think I just did a little bit too much but today well it's feeling good so I've got my headphones got an audio book got my crochet needle and some wool and I found a project to do as well so come on let's head down to the harbour and we can sit and watch the world go by I'm gonna catch the bus because my knee I don't want to push it I was planning on catching the bus, but the lorry's blocking the way. Well, that poor bus driver had to reverse the whole length of the lane because the lorry was blocking the way. Excellent reversing by the bus driver. And about four cars were coming up and he stopped and told them all there was a lorry blocking the way. It was very dramatic. Let's go and sit on my favourite bench and wait for Mr Warner, do a bit of crochet. Not a bad view, is it? So we got Mr Warner. I've had a very pleasant couple of hours sitting doing some crochet overlooking the sea. Oh, it's very lovely. I've learnt a new stitch as well. It's a herringbone stitch. We had an ice cream and heading back now to cook some dinner. Right, let's cook some dinner. I have got an idea for a recipe that will use up another jar. We've actually 
got two jars of mango chutney and I was thinking the other day what else can I do with it I made coronation chicken with it the other day what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some rice and some chicken and then I'm just gonna do like a mango chutney glaze on the chicken I think it's gonna be delish There we go, Mr. Warner. Hope that's a taste sensation. Welcome to a beautiful sunny day. It's actually early afternoon. I've been working all morning. We are leaving for Northampton tonight. So I need to pack up and I need to tidy up. That's what I need to do. Exciting news for today. Knee is feeling so good. Much, much better. I think the exercises I'm doing in the morning and the evening are really helping. Let me show you how I'm getting on with my crochet. Look at that herringbone stitch that is, or something similar. I'm really pleased with that. It's coming on lovely. I'm going to crack on, get stuff tidied up, get stuff packed, and I'll catch you later. I'm using up some leftovers. Got some tomatoes, there's a bit of chorizo, an egg, some cheese. Uh, some lentils in there as well so a bit of a healthy old bowl for lunch i've been ironing all afternoon it's at this point where i'm very grateful that i only have a small wardrobe i've got to pack a week's worth of clothing in fact eight days worth of clothing mr warner is only got to pack three or four days so far everything's fitting in me hand luggage case so that's all right got tennis on the tv just as a bit i'm not sitting down watching it just just listening to the ambiance of the tennis it makes me feel like summer's here talking about summer being here uh, i had to get changed out of my long gray t-shirt into a short sleeve top it's that warm today i'm not moaning well not yet but anyway it's lovely the weather's lovely i'm pottering about tidying up ironing packing sorting nothing very exciting but i am cracking on i've finished packing i've emptied the fridge i've cleaned the bathroom i've had a shower i've done loads of washing up the sun's gone in it looks like it's going to pour with rain any second i'm keeping like an eagle eye on the washing that's left outside uh all that's left now to do is sit down watch tennis do a bit more crochet perfect so mr warner's home is just packing his bag left it till last minute i'm just watching the tennis andy murray oh it's now biting so mr warner was just telling me that he saw a jellyfish today in the marina and he also saw a seal but as he got went to get his camera out to take a picture of that disappeared so at least we've got the jellyfish so we've been whizzing along the motorway with barely any traffic and then this happens i don't think it'll take long for us to clear this she says optimistically can i just say i'm so looking forward to seeing the kids to seeing deb to seeing my mum and hopefully we can catch up with sarah too looking forward to seeing everyone fingers crossed everything will move quickly we're back on our way now 10 to 9 road ahead is empty just about to start listening to a new jack reacher book morning and welcome to wednesday we're at debbie's we arrived about half past 10 last night a lot going on today i'm giving mr warner the camera today he is off to the boat to give teal a wash and to make sure she's empty and she's ready for tom to pick her up tomorrow i am heading to chloe's unit where i'm looking after the unit today i'm also working from there then i'm gonna stay at my mum's a lot going on my glasses are steamed up because i'm thinking about it and it's making me hot and sweaty so good morning this is warner's in the hot seat over there transporting us to go and pick the bmw up obviously i haven't seen or driven the bmw for months been in the precious hands of beth so we've got to go and pick that up then we one of us has got to shoot to chloe is to pick the keys up for the unit i've just rung the office and they haven't got a spare set so we're gonna have to go and collect those uh, and then we're gonna meet at the office i then got to do a delivery for chloe once i've done that delivery i'll be going over to milk 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 not milk and beans that's a slang word for it milk milk and, i can't say it milton Keynes. this line's mains not sharpening my brain up anyway and then uh, i'll be washing till ready for tomorrow's handover so let's uh let's go just approaching beth's there is the bmw actually looking quite clean 
right. can't believe we've got to do 3,000 miles in that bad boy in about four weeks. So I've got to go and pick the key up now from Chloe's house, drive to the unit, I'll meet you there. See okay. you there. In a couple of weekends time, we are going down the Thames on Louise and Dave's boat and we're going to need fly jackets and I've just found one for Mrs Warner. So I'm just going to see how it fits. Okay, I need this to fit because the Thames is not to be messed with. No way, Glenn. Okay, let me come in now. Not even close. I mean, this is surely for a child. I feel like I'm in Bridgerton. There's plenty of room. Mm. Oh, that's all right, that fits. I didn't think that would fit. I thought it had to zip up no, or something, no, no, no. but so that's fine. Can, there's definitely room for... That I can breathe. Room. I can breathe and hopefully float. And that's the two requirements. Guess what I found? What you found? What you found? Oh, that's it was, in, it was on the shelf in the office. Oh, real excellent. So hopefully that's got everything you need in there. Oh, okay, see you later, Mr. Warner. Bye. Bye. Just did a delivery for, for Chloe. Now I'm on the way to Milton Keynes to give Teal a wash. She actually doesn't look too bad, but it is quite dirty. So let's uh, let's get her cleaned up. Sweaty mess. I've just given her a little rub down. It's not the best. So sorry, Tom. You're going to have to do this again and properly. Ruth must get that rub down and get those bits done while the weather's good. She's better than she was because she was absolutely covered in cobwebs and looked really bad, so I hope he's happy with it. Till started straight up. I'm gonna switch the fridge on and I'm gonna switch to the pump pipe. Just make sure that's all working. Just about ready to go, to be honest with you. Lights is staying, pillars, puff, TV staying, cupboard, all those bits in there are staying. We don't need any of that. Fire lighters. Can have all of that. Let's just check the pump. Just checking under here. That's about it. I'm all done. I've turned the fridge on obviously because that'll run off on the solar panels. Then if uh, Tom wants to put some food in it uh, tomorrow, it'll be cold. Doesn't look too bad. So I've just got back from Milton Keynes and I've got to nip into the chemist to get Mrs. Warner's blood pressure tablets. So I have just finished. I've done the whole day at Chloe's. I worked there from there this morning. I've spent the afternoon doing some video editing. So yeah, I've been super productive. I am heading to my mum's where I'm going to stay for a couple of days. It's going to be so good to catch up with my mum. I've really missed her while I've been away. What you got there? Yeah. Oh, check those out. Signed cards. Is that what you've been spuffing all your money on? Look at the size of this steak, it's a whopper. So we've got steak, got some potatoes, some mushrooms, some spring onions, a bit of Philadelphia and some Coleman's mustard. Let's see what we can rustle up. The steak goes in the oven, it's really odd. The instruction said cook it in the pan then stick it in the oven. I was like, I've not cooked a steak like that before but we'll see how this turns out. There we go mum, I hope that tastes Delicious. So I'm back at Deb's. Deb's making dinner now. It is now <laughs> half past seven. We have spent the last two hours on the phone to various different banks because Deb's got a new phone and it's all gone horribly wrong. And I thought she was going to have a little meltdown. Anyway, we've managed to get all of her accounts yes. on a new phone on her app. But I'm on a drink now. But she's having a drink now. <laughs> Let's put this bank debacle behind us and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Thursday's a big day. I am on my way to hand over Till to its new owner, Tom, and I really hope that he enjoys living on a Tom. He's a, a really nice chap. It'll be his first sort of place of his own, so I think he's really looking forward to it and he's quite excited. Anyway, let's go and get over to Milton Keynes. Not far from Milton Keynes now, I'm about 10 minutes away. It's going to be a funny day today. Me and Mrs Warner are going to be boatless until next March. It's not so bad because obviously we're going to be in Bricks until December, so we wouldn't have used Till much anyway. Sorry about the window, but the air conditioning or heating blowers are not working in the two-ball rally car. Never fear, the part's coming tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have it fixed by the time I drive this back to Devon on Sunday. Tomorrow it's going in 
for a wheel bearing to fix the speedo because that's not working either but that's all connected so I've got a little digital display which tells me how fast I'm going just so I don't get in any trouble so back to back to till um, so yeah it's a bit it's gonna be a bit of a weird one I'm sad that I never got round to doing the things I wanted to do on till but you know it's gonna have a new owner who's gonna make it his own and I'm sure it's going to look great. Well, good morning and welcome to Thursday. So I slept at mum's last night. She sent me off to work this morning with a beautiful picnic. Delicious rolls, some crisps, um, a cold drink. I've got it all. I'm off to the unit. I'm going to do my work from Chloe's work, if that makes sense. Let's get on to work. Let's enjoy this gorgeous sunshine. Tom doesn't want to be on fan. We'll just click past him. So here's Carolyn and Charlie. Well, yeah, we've met Charlie and Carolyn Hello. many many times before and we are just about to hand teal over so let's get on with it we're in the boat we've just run through things with tom he's all happy just got to do the engine stuff and uh, then i think they're going to be ready to go ready for the adventure to start yeah yeah i'm sure he'll he'll, he'll love it there she goes tom at the helm and all I'm left with is an empty space for now. So that's still gone. It's well happy with it. I'll catch up with them later on today to see how they got on. On the way to Debbie's shop, I just need to pick up a bit for the car. I'm going to go over to the unit to see Mrs. W and see how she's feeling about Teal going. So I picked the bit up from the shop, just got to the unit. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Come on in. It's not my shop, it's closed. Anyway, how did you get on? Yeah, it's all done, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And I just got home to the car because it's the boots full. I'll give you a hand. I've finished work, packed my computer away, I'm doing a bit of editing, but I'm very excited because this afternoon I get to spend some time with Mia. Evie has got a hospital appointment and Naomi said rather than drag Mia to the hospital, can she hang out with me? I was like, yes, she can. I'm looking forward to 2.30 when she arrives. What have you been doing? So BMW that needs to do 3,000 miles in very hot countries. I'll pick the car up from Deb's, which is, this is what it looks like. It's really hard to get to. I had to be a bit of a contortionist to get to it. Anyway, but it's been out before because the two screws that held it in weren't there. So someone's had it out, so it's pulling this out was a lot easier than it should have been. I have now got air conditioner. Well done, well done. I'm here with Mia. Evie's gone off to the hospital, hasn't she, with mummy? I look different. Do you look different? You look grown up. I look different to the last time I was on, on here. Well, that's because you've, you've grown, you've grown. Anyway, we are playing Bananagrams. But we've decided that we're not doing banana gram rules, are we? We're making our own game up. Well, so we're just technically doing Scrabble. We're just doing Scrabble without the Scrabble board. There was Mia saying she couldn't spell and then she puts down the word next. Yeah, well done. Glenn, have you intruded on our game? What's it gonna be? <laughs> Are you pleased with that one? S O double R Sorrel. <laughs> working, working. <laughs> so Mia and Glenn have made the word do or and razor. I thought you said you couldn't spell. <laughs> Two. It's rubbish. We've got big hooters now. Oh, it's, well, it's, I'm thinking chasm is a word. It's, it's chasm. It is. That's the way you spell chasm. I thought you were lying. Three, three, four. I just got back to mum's. Oh my goodness. The traffic. Crazy. Everyone rushing home for the England match. Mum's just been around the chip shop while I'm watching the football. We've just scored the goal, by the way. But mum said it was really funny. She said the... 
chip shop was just full of women full of women and she said it's empty the streets are empty well that's football done one one it was a disappointing game apparently that's what the commentators are saying but it looked like hard work to me we're off out me and mum we're going to the spiritualist church or as mum calls it spooky club good morning and welcome to friday it's a beautiful sunny day out there the garden is looking glorious is your plan today to sit out in that garden it is what an ideal friday that is sitting in the garden with a book perfect anyway i'm not doing that i'm going to chloe's unit there's no natural sunlight down that tunnel no nothing i'll just have to imagine the sunshine yeah that's what i'm gonna do glenn is doing some stuff at our unit today is having a sort out mum's done me and glenn a lovely pack up here we've got some crisps some drinks and chocolate yogurts as well all the deliciousness it's like a picnic I find these chairs too uncomfortable to sit on. Inserting my back and my knees playing up. Glenn's gone to get me another chair. So, at least I can sit down. Thank you. Just a bit of an update for the day. I am here, I'm editing. I'm getting on quite well with that. Glenn is in our unit, a couple of doors down. And he is going through loads of stuff that was in the boat. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he finds my glasses we've got to do that we've got to do that it's finding more stuff that's, that's, that I'll that's do that for, Lisa. for my birthday yeah can we book something randomly or do we want to book? no i'll tell you what we could do is when we're down in devon in like september october time we could go somewhere in cornwall good plan it's a plan right oh it's a bit low down there but i've got massive apologies to do so Pam, Marion and Kathy wrote to me weeks ago, maybe even months, and I haven't got back round to it. So I'm going to do that this afternoon. And I've had another card as well. Let me just open this one. Now I'm going to catch up with my letter writing today. Oh, look at that. Who's this from? This is from Norma. Oh, Norma. Perfect timing. I'm going to do my letter writing today. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to reply to everybody. It's about five minutes to four. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So this evening, I'm heading back to my mum's. We're taking the cat to the vet. Just needs its annual booster jabs. So we're doing that. And then I'm meeting Glenn, Debbie, Beth and Leo in town where we're going to Mamaris one of our favourite Turkish restaurants. And I'm so looking forward to catching up with Beth and Leo. Anyway, let's get out of here, get back to my mum's. It's time to take the cat to the vets. Mum, are you ready for this? No. <laughs> we don't like it. We don't like taking the cat to the vets. The cat doesn't like going to the vets. We don't like taking the cat to the vets. But mum has secured Molly into the cat basket. That is very good. Come on, let's go. I just got back to Deb's. Cat was fine at the vets. Dropped mum off and the cat. And now I've come back. But we're just getting ready to go back out again. I'm excited this has arrived before I return back to Devon. I was concerned that I was not getting enough protein. So, I bought these to try. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't get in. Oh, here we go. I brought some protein drinks. So, you just add milk. I bought a whole load to try. So I just said the cat was a little bit sick in the car, so excuse the smell. Deb said, don't worry, I've got an air freshener. <laughs> and I thought she had one of those little ones that hang from the rear view mirror. So she went to get it, then just opened the door <laughs> and sprayed with a big aer aerosol can. We're like, <laughs> um, <laughs> we can't breathe. It's kind of a smell though, isn't it? Deb's gone for the lamb chops. I've gone for the ribs. Northampton's very lively this evening. It's great to see so many people are out. We're just walking down to Beth's car. Just going to um, say goodbye to Beth and Leo. And then we'll be heading back to Deb's. Or will we, Deb? Or shall we? Or shall we? Or shall we? Yeah, shall we hit the town? Oh. oh, Beth has got a new car. She's loving her new car. Oh, it's nice, Bethy. It is. See you, Beffy. <laughs> <laughs> so 
we're just having a look in this place. It looks lovely. So that is gorgeous. Restaurant lounge bar, so beautiful in there. Someone singing as well. Yeah, lovely. We should go there, Deb. We should go there. So there we go, Mr. Warner. Not a bad week at all. No, I want to thank everyone who's donated for the two ball rally challenge that we're doing next month. I can't tell you how positive and happy the charity are for the money that we're raising. Even at £500, they were like really, really grateful. So if we can do double treble it means so much to me it's a small local charity where where the funds are really going to make a difference it's yeah. for people that are living with heart failure or are recovering from heart attacks or strokes, or yeah. strokes. it's going to make a big difference so yeah. that's great to do that in paul's memory is yeah. is wonderful yeah and the car is is falling coming, apart it's falling apart a little bit but anyway <laughs> i'm taking it down to devon tomorrow because Mrs. Warner's not with me tomorrow, so I'm taking the BMW to Devon, then it's going to start its journey of hopefully getting a little bit better than it is. We just want to say a huge thank you for all the lovely coffees. So thank you, Cathy. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, James and Ash. Thank you. Next week involves Liverpool, Devon, London. London. All of these things are very exciting. Mm. I'm going to do next week's video a little bit differently. Next week's will be a shorter video. I'll stop filming on Thursday and then the week after will include an extra day. Does that make sense? It just means slightly shorter video next week, longer one the week after. And that's so that I can make sure that we get a video out on the Sunday for yeah. you. One last thing to say. Oh, you've got one last thing to yeah. say? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting to the end. Thank you for liking, subscribing and doing all those things. Thank you. So that's it. Nothing more to say. Nothing more to say. Have a great week. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next week. Next week. Bye. Bye. Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. Are we still doing this? We, have we reversed? Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And we have forgotten what. All right. Okay. Let's try and make this easy. We're out of focus now. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And here are three things that... No. <laughs> no. See, when you change okay. things, it makes Okay, okay. Let's, let's, no, let's... No, 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 I'm okay. ready, I'm ready, okay. ready, right, right, right. Okay. Third time lucky, you won't. Okay. Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And here are three highlights from this week's video. <laughs> That was perhaps a little bit too much, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs>